Hey guys and welcome back. I'm still in Nordeza, which is where we're training the sled dogs. And in this video, I thought I would just talk about my experience of cutting my hand and then getting it fixed up by the Norwegian health system here. Uh, first of all, welcome back to Noreza. You would have seen in the last video some cool drone shots of us out training the dogs when there was some fresh snow. Unfortunately, the fresh snow has long since melted and we've got our fingers crossed for some more fresh snow in the next few days. We'll just see how that goes. If you've been watching lots of my videos and you haven't yet subscribed and you do want to help this channel, then click that little subscribe button down there and subscribe would be awesome. So on the 8th of August uh, this year, I was at work at Tromso Vilmark Center and I cut my hand on some glass. It was no one's fault. It was just a bit of bad luck went my way and there happened to be a piece of glass in a place that shouldn't have been. And I cut my hand, my finger along the top, right across here. I had a look at it straight away and I could kind of see uh, that it was very deep and on the inside I could see some white bits which um, I figured might be ligaments or tendons so straight away I knew that it was a little bit more than any cut that I'd ever had before and it was actually the worst accident I've ever had um, in my whole life. So my boss Torva booked me into the emergency room um, a couple of hours later and I was able to drive myself in there just fine. Um, and went to the doctor. So I sat there for a couple of hours in the uh, Tromso emergency room. Eventually I got seen by a doctor, uh, a young doctor, who wanted to stitch it up and I said no, no, you need to have a look at it because I think something else is cut. So he got the, the um, main doctor in to have a look at it and she had a look at it and also wanted just to stitch it up and send me home and I said no no you have to have a, a closer look at it than that and eventually she kind of looked in and saw some things cut and then she said okay I don't I don't know anything about this we're going to send you to a surgeon uh, to a specialist um, but I couldn't get it that day because it was Saturday evening so they did just stitch it up and send me home that day and it hurt a lot and my finger was on, it had some ice cream sticks so it was straight like this I couldn't move my finger at all and then on Monday morning at nine o'clock I got a call saying you've got an appointment tomorrow at nine at 9am to see a hand specialist in orthopedics so that was I thought that was really fast to get to see a specialist it was great um, so on Tuesday morning I went in and they they wanted to open it up again to have a look on the inside to see what was cut if anything um so they took me into the surgery ward <laughs> it was full-on surgery i had local anesthetic of my hand and they cut it back open and then inside they found two lacerations of the tendon underneath the skin uh, one of them wasn't so bad, but one of the one of the lacerations was was um, almost completely through. Now it wasn't completely through the main tendon, which takes the strength here. It was through a tendon on the side, which connects to that one. Um, so basically, the, my tendon, which which goes in a uh, it makes a little bend over the knuckle. It was starting to fall inwards because it wasn't being supported correctly. So I was quite lucky that they opened it up and had a look. So they stitched it up on the day and my surgery was about an hour long in total. So I had two doctors and two nurses. And incredibly at the end of that, that cost me 56 euros, which is actually covered by my employer as well. Uh, but even if I had to pay it, it was still only 56 euros. And I think that's a really good example of the incredible health system that they've got here in Norway. Because I'm a resident, I'm living here, um, it's covered, not a problem. Um, anyway, they gave me like a, a brace, so it wasn't a full on cast luckily, but it was just like a hand brace which kept my hand in that position and I, I couldn't move, I couldn't move like this, I could just move like this to keep the tendons moving. Because basically this is, this is where the 
the cut was and I didn't want to stress this part. Anyway, that night when I got home and the anesthetic wore off, it was so painful. It was wrapped in a bandage and obviously it had swelled up a little bit and it pretty much felt like a bus was on top of my hand and then driving backwards and forth over my hand. It was so painful. Uh, and they didn't give me any painkillers and I did look into taking some painkillers but painkillers slow down the healing so I didn't want to do that. I was pretty concerned and I want this to heal 100%. So I didn't take any painkillers and I spent that night with my hand raised as high above my bed as possible trying to limit the pain a little bit. Next day it wasn't so bad but it was still sore for about three weeks afterwards. And then after two weeks I went back, they took the stitches out, they had a look at it and said it's good but keep the brace on and just keep moving, keep moving these fingers which was quite hard and quite painful because they're really stiff and swollen. Six weeks later I went back and they said you can throw away the hand brace now and we want you to start moving this uh, joint to get the joints moving. The problem with tendons healing is it takes so long that the skin can actually heal to the tendon layers and it can create a lot of stiffness. So I was able to move, start moving my hand like that and like this and, and, and like this and it only probably took about a week before I had most of the movement. I was quite surprised how fast it came back and very relieved. So I kept doing that. I kept working on it a lot. Um, I had like a stress ball to, to do this and try and get the strength because I could see the difference between my hands. This hand, the muscles had got smaller. So I knew I had to get them back. And then about two months after my accident, I started working again. Um, I had to be really careful because working with dogs was quite dangerous because uh, you hold the dogs and dogs move sporadically so they can kind of twist your fingers or whatever so that's why I didn't come back to work and the doctor gave me two months of sick leave now my employer covered the first two weeks of that as is in the agreement so that was really good um, and then I'm still trying to get the money for the the rest of the time from the Norwegian uh, tax authority now I'm super relieved to say that it's 99% back to normal now. Uh, I don't want to have an accident where I end up with long-term damage. And I am confident that I will get the last 1% as well. Just every now and then, like this morning, it was a little bit stiff in the morning. But now it's, it's fine. And strength-wise, I can do everything. But it did make me realize just how you don't choose your accidents. The particular week that I did it, I'd been climbing in the mountains just about every day up on the top of cliffs doing quite uh, reasonably difficult rock climbing moves without ropes above hundreds of meters of drops um, and running along ridge lines and, and just having an incredible time and we were being very safe while doing it but then I go to work and I hurt myself inside a building which is <laughs> kind of blew my mind a little bit and I was really relieved that that's where I had my accident. I could have also had this accident in Antarctica or um, on a yacht in the Arctic or something. It would have been a much worse place to have it. Um, I did not wake up that morning and be like, oh, I'm going to have an accident today. It just happened completely out of the blue. And it made me realize that life is short and we have to make the most of it and live life to the full. Because if you told me that I was going to have an accident that week, I would have guessed it was probably going to be very very serious on the top of a mountain somewhere and from an accident like that you may or may not come home alive so I was quite relieved and when I was sitting in the emergency room I heard two emergency helicopters come and land on the roof and I was very very happy that it wasn't me in one of those helicopters so a big thank you to my employer Tromso Vilmark Centre for supporting me right through the process And then also a big thanks to the Norwegian Health Authorities. Um, basically the first surgery, as I said, cost 56 euros, but every other visit cost about 25 euros um, each visit. And that was covered by the employer anyway, but if I had to cover that myself, then it's not so bad. 
um, and yeah it goes to show it's pretty amazing health system here 56 euros for one hour surgery two doctors two nurses wouldn't even cover a coffee and a cookie for them in the smoko room afterwards here in Norway I hope you enjoyed the video today and there will be more I still have a very big announcement coming up in the next month or two on this channel so do stand by for that and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and if you like my videos please give them a share on social media that would be awesome all right thank you very much that's all and until next time good day good night and good morning wherever you are in the world